Hello, I'm going to show you how you can draw a simple pen using Rhinoceros 4. First thing is we're going to select our template file from the template file, small inches, small objects inches, and open it up. And you're going to get four viewports, top, front, right, perspective. Now you always want to start off using uh, front and right side if it's anything like a pen or um, anything that's long. If it's like square, you can use a top view. Or you can use any view you want, but usually I go with the front and right view for a pen. Now, we're going to double click on the front to make it big, so it'll be easier to work in. Um, over here you have your layers. This will be important to separate what you create. Now, to start off, we're going to draw a center line. You always want to draw a center line that involves a cylindrical object. This will make your life much easier well, while drawing. Anyways, you're going to just anywhere you want, really. Draw a straight line. Now you select the polyline tool, and as you see, you can't really go straight down unless you have uh, ortho on, which is right over here. So what you do, if you don't want to turn on ortho, you hold shift and you go up and down, like so, and it'll create a straight line for you. And there we go, we have our center line. Now we're going to keep this in the de default layer. Layers aren't too important if it's a small object. Okay, now, we're going to start off with the body of the pen so a pen basically has three parts you, you always have to think about parts and draw each part on its own well one at a time so actually the pen has more of a four part if you count the hook so we're going to start off with the body first now you're going to decide how long and thick you want the pen say this is a center line it doesn't really do anything for us right now so we're going to select the polyline tool go over here and the center line is basically uh, whatever you draw on one side is half of your whole entire drawing and we're gonna do this I'll show you why it's important to only draw one half of your pen if it's cylindrical and symmetrical uh, going across every angle from top view so what you're gonna do is you're gonna just estimate halfway of the pen uh, this takes time to practice and then you'll catch up so you're gonna click and zoom out and you're gonna think of this as half the pen again so I just say that's how far down my pen goes. And what I did there was hold shift and go down again, just like the center line. Once you're done, you're going to hit enter or right click, which is quick shortcut for enter. And right here we have half the pen. Now, we're going to draw the bottom part of the pen. We're going to, let's say it's a clicky pen, like a clickable one, like this one right over here. Uh, any of these, they're all the same. Let's just draw this pen, something like this. Okay, we're going to have the clickable part, the little handle, this part, and the pen. And this is what I'm calling the body, the red part. So once we have that, we're going to... Um, let's make the bottom the bottom of the drawing. So we're going to have a clickable part coming out. Say that you're looking at this from the top of the pen, or well, the side if you're holding it straight up. So we're going to select the polyline tool, and right over here, this is without radius. This is just a simple drawing to get you started. Uh, we're going to go here and estimate how far the lip goes right next to the the, uh, the part that comes out, like in and out of the pen. So once you have that, you click that distance and then you're not done yet. You hold shift. Just, this is going to be the inside of the pen. So click anywhere. You can go as far down as you want. It won't be visible. Just make sure you go down a little so it won't show. Now we're going to draw the clicky part. And again, this is surface modeling. It does not involve the insides. It's what you see is what you get. And it's more for uh, visualizing the product. Now we're going to click on anywhere inside the pen. Let's just click over there. And hold shift, go straight out. Oh, wrong tool. We're going to use the curve tool. Click anywhere inside and then Hold shift, come straight out, and then come in perpendicular. Make sure you have perpendicular enabled down here. This allows you to create a 90 degree uh, at that point with the curve. So you do that. And over here, once you revolve this, it'll leave you a smooth tip instead of a point. So we're done with the bottom part of the pen. Uh, what we want to do now, that's the click clicking part. Again, this is not an accurate drawing, it's just an example. So we're going to go up here, we're going to select the polyline again, 
and click on the end make sure you have end enabled from down here and um, from the on snap tools so you're going to select the end and then estimate and just visualize what it will look like unless you take measurements now we're going to leave a part that comes in and out so we're going to leave a little gap between the center and the side right there so we have this right now we're done with the body we have the clickable part and the way I select one by one is hold shift and then just click along also if you click on something you don't want to see the center line you hold control and you click it and it'll remove it now once you have the body we're going to draw the part that comes in and out now we're going to select the curve tool again and this time uh, make sure you don't go past this point so going straight down Again, that's the S track over here that enables you to do that. Uh, that cool little feature, I know. Uh, just this is anywhere basically, and then out a little. And then hold Shift, come out just a bit, and then well, this you can have a tip unless you put the ballpoint. Let's do that. Let's put a ballpoint on that too. So we're gonna leave another gap over there. So if you zoom out, you could barely see it, but if you want detail, it's very important. In fact, that's too small. So what we're going to do is move this out a little. To do that, since this is a polyline, you could click on this tool over here, and you could edit um, the angle. You just move it out a bit, and then we don't have to recreate it. We just drag it over, as you see. It should be a little better. Oh, it's still too small. So what we're going to do is recreate that curve. It's okay to make mistakes. Not all the time, though. So, we're gonna do that again. And if this didn't work, we're just gonna leave one. Okay, so we're gonna create the, the point again. Hold shift. It's too far in. Go up and then click on the line. Sorry. You want the little gap for the ballpoint. Now, everything I'm doing is in the same plane. I haven't moved anything up or down the y axis. So, whatever I make when I revolve, it will be along the same plane. So, I could create 3D objects and eventually everything will still be in the same plane. So, we're going to hold the solid cube, go to this, hold it, and then go to the sphere. Click on this. Okay, that didn't work. Go to the sphere. And then, right over here, we're going to go near the line and create a sphere just barely touching not touching that point so we're now ready to revolve everything as you zoom out it's easier to just select as you go now hit escape first of all to get out of any command that it's in already now you select that curve this curve by holding shift you can join those by clicking that and as you see this is one piece except the part that does not touch and we're going to go here select this and that and we're ready to revolve this and make it 3D. So what we're going to do is go here and type in revolve, enter. We're going to select the axis, which is right over here, and go straight down. That's the axis it's going to spin around. Let me show you. Now we have our pen here. As you see, it manually asks you here to select where you want, but you want to leave it at 360. So the start angle, it doesn't really matter where it is. So you hit enter and then revolution angle. And you're going to uh, 360 degrees for a full circle, or F. Hit F space for 360. And there you go, you have the body of the pan and the little ballpoint right in there somewhere. Where is it? I'm not sure find it. Well, it is there. The ballpoint. So you have your little fat pen. It came out to be a little too fat. And your clicky part that's in too far. So what I could do... As you see, once you create your pen, you can see your mistakes that you made. Now that's too far in, so what I do is I select it, hold shift, and then go down. Let's go that far. That looks okay. Now we're done with the three out of four parts. Now we need to do the little side part. Now this part is tricky because... Don't be scared though. I can teach you how to do this. Uh, you're going to have a little part coming out here. And what you want to do is basically create it around here somewhere. I'll tell you why you don't really want to draw it off the pen. And remember, anything you draw is going to stay in the same plane, so all you have to do is move it left to right. Now, uh, let's see. As you see, it has a little part over there, and then this part over here. Blah, blah, blah. 
Now we could draw all that in one shot or two shots. Let's draw it in one shot. Select your polyline tool and just estimate how big it would be. Just go like this, hold shift, go down. Mm, that was bad. Have your little finger piece and then hold shift again, go down, no, go down this, this far. And hold shift and what you want to do is go to the point, don't click it, just drag it straight up and it'll make it perpendicular. And then you want to go straight down because we're going to extrude this right now. And as you see, it looks like a little half broken guitar. So we're going to select solid, extrude, plane curve, straight. Oh, one more thing. Go to the 3D view. Okay, as you see, um, where is it? From the top view, you want this to extrude on both sides equally. Because then it will be kind of offset on the pan. To do this, up here, you see all these... Uh, commands and all you have to do is type the first letter of the command you want. So here we're going to type B space. Space is my enter. I like it better. Or I don't really know if this is more important than that. But anyways, we're going to draw the thickness you would think is good. You could just check here. And once you visualize your pen, you click it, and right here you see this little part sticking out from the pen. Now to attach this two together, these two onion. Excuse my English. We're gonna hold shift and now if we left it where it was, if we left the curves off the pen, it'll make this it'll leave this gap over here. We don't want that, so we're gonna move move it in until the edges of the solid part is inside the pen, so we won't have any gaps. Now once you have that, just click anywhere in the drawing and it'll leave your line that you made it from there. It doesn't matter because once you hit this button, you'll see it's not there. And you see it's too far out. It doesn't look it looks like a toy. So what I do is I leave this port open and then as I move this I can see where the pen is and what the pen looks like in real time. And right here we have your pen. That's basically it. Now you know how to draw a pen. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Um, please subscribe and any recommendations of drawings I'll draw. Hope you enjoyed this video and good luck on your first drawing.